It's AWS reInvent 2019 in Las Vegas and the Deep Racer Championship Cup. We have now locked in the fastest 16 Deep Racers in the world. Today's round of 16 is a double elimination bracket. At the end of the day, we reduce the pool from our 16 finalists to three competitors that will be live on the reInvent stage trying to be the 2019 Deep Racer Champion. Welcome to the world's first autonomous racing league. Developers of every skill level from all corners of the globe compete for the ultimate prize in machine learning. Welcome to Deep Racer TV. We're back at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Today, 16 Deep Racers have endured a brutal gauntlet of competition. Bang! Head first Deep Racer going into the wall. He's gonna come up just a tad short. Can he make this one count? He cannot. Not fast enough. The cream has risen to the top. Brings a big sigh of relief. Found that lap he was looking for. <laughs> a stellar performance. That looked like an impressive one. The final four undefeated racers have been decided. On the left-hand side of the bracket, it's Roger versus Solar. Solar right now is going so aggressive that most of her laps aren't even ending up on the track. It is a 51% to 49% odds of Solar winning. Roger and Solar, that match determines who moves on to the championship three. I know he's a student, he learns machine learning, so I'm a little bit nervous. Here we have it, Roger, perhaps with a convincing lap time here, an acceleration unlike any other. We have ourselves a convincing run right there, Ryan. 9.7. 9.7 for Roger, which provisionally has him ahead of Sola. If that result were to hold, he would be part of the championship three tomorrow morning. This has been a match for the ages. DMP Sola. Yes, everybody knows about her reputation. Ignition, as Sola is off for her second attempt. We've seen this strategy from Sola before. She comes out of the gate and lays down the, the track immediately, really aggressive out of the gate. Oh, that is looking extremely promising. Extremely promising indeed, as Sola just finishing off her beautiful run right there. And with 8.975, Sola getting the job done. Sola wins her match. She is moved on and qualified with a time of 8.97. It was not good enough. Sola is our first person on the final stage. Fumiaki will face off against Debro for a chance to join the championship three. They both qualified with good times, and yet the analytics don't think it's even at all. The analytics have Fumiaki at a 67% chance of winning. Fumiaki has consistency and flow, whereas Darren gets a good win, but it's always at the very end of his races. The analytics don't like that. No, definitely DMP are reliability, but now they've got a lot of speed. So I might just have to put a wee bit of risk in. Moving into Horseshoe uh, once again here. Horseshoe on the outside part, uh, back into the S Express. But he's going to try and find a bit more breathing room, and he has done it. How about this, folks? 8.819 seconds for Fumiaki. Here is the situation for Debro. Back up against the wall again, as we've seen throughout his Deep Racer career. No surprise there. It was a, a career highlight for me to win a ticket to come here. To be the best in the world would be, yeah, that would be everything. Look at this lap mark. Look at oh. that. It, it counts. It was close. And a 9.26 on deck here on the on the lap for Debro. Well, he went for it all, ladies and gentlemen. Comes up just a little bit short. 9.2 there, which isn't bad, but it's not enough to get to the final with. A round of applause for your semi-final champion, Fumiaki. Oh, it was surprising for me to go to the finals. I was very happy about it. Looking at the last chance bracket. If you lose, you get dropped into the last chance bracket. But you're still competing. Lose out of there, and you're out for good. After I was beaten by the Japanese team, I had to crawl all the way from the bottom to the top. I had to win two more races to get into the finals. 
Another lap in right here. 9.064. And that means that Roger Chu has clinched a spot in the championship three coming out of the last chance bracket. We are backstage at the keynote, AWS reInvent 2019. This is the moment we've been waiting for the entire season. Our three competitors are ready. They've loaded their models onto the car. The crowd is filling up their seats. The DJ is loud. Everyone is excited. There is nothing more to do but find out who gets to hoist the 2019 Championship Cup. Did you sleep last night? Just a little. Just yeah, a little bit? Yeah. I saw you walking around the casino this morning at 5 a.m. If I were able to win this, it would be a huge honor because it is the biggest competition I've ever been to. I think their models are a bit more robust than mine, so I'm just going to pray for it the best. Anything going through your head? How are you preparing for you get called out on stage? Nothing uh, as usual. Maybe I'm going <laughs> to pray because I'm going to need all the good luck. Welcome to the big show for the Deep Racer League 2019. Starting first with our top qualifier, the champion at the Tokyo Summit, the world record holder on the previous generation track, and the fastest developer throughout the week so far here in Las Vegas. Her go for broke style has been thrilling to watch. Please welcome to the stage, all the way from Japan, So La! Our second competitor coming to this stage. In contrast to Sola, Fumiyaki's fast and consistent style has been his calling card. Please welcome to the stage, Fumiyaki! And joining these two on this stage is our Taipei champion. He had to survive the last chance bracket to advance to the finals after a head-to-head -head loss to Sola in the round of 16 yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Roger Chu. I'm gonna go third. Third is the best because I know how the other contestants are doing. And it would not be a race event without a celebrity to wave the flag. You know it well, folks. Please welcome to the stage the one and only Matt Wood. Well, there they are, your championship three, our celebrity flag waiver as well. Let's briefly run through the rules. Unlike league play, which has seen each developer get four minutes of track time to set their fastest lap today, it all comes down to one 90-second attempt per competitor. That is it. The fastest lap set amongst these three will be your 2019 league champion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please get ready. Sola! I worry about complete lap uh, within uh, 90 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Sola, your 90 seconds has begun. That lap will not count. Now, this is costly. So La told me before the race that in a four-minute format, she likes to spend the first two minutes just getting the feel for the track. With 90 seconds, she has to forego that comfort level and just hit for the pin. Here we go. At just 90 seconds to work with, I think our developers are likely to be a bit more conservative. But how about that? Not much conservative about a 10.236. Just 20 seconds remaining for Sola. Can she improve? She cannot. Checkered flag waves. Gentlemen, the fastest developer, the world record holder, Sola. 10.2, not so fast, I think. With Sola only posting a 10.23 time, the door is wide open for Fumiyaki. 
の試合は、まあ、I was worried about the time, the game being 90 seconds. That was a lot less than what we've been doing. It was four minutes. Here we go. Three, two, one. Fumiaki is on it into that left handed bend at the start of the lap. Now we talked about his style as being a bit more conservative, a bit more cautious, but he's coming out of the gate with some aggression. Looking very solid here on the track. 16.366. Fumiaki is starting out consistent, but he's starting out slow. It's as if he's nervous about the track. His horseshoe bend has been the bugaboo for Fumiaki so far. Halfway through the 90 seconds and 12.75. Six, his best. Just hugging that white line. Dancing dangerously, but a little bit faster. 11.654 for Fumiaki with 30 seconds remaining. What do you think about this, folks? Is it going to be better? It is, but it's not fast enough yet. 11.065, just 17 seconds, but the car exceeded track limits again. Fumiaki's run is done. He'll have to settle for an 11.065, currently second of our three competitors. ここが定位置だと思いました I thought this was my best place second <laughs> It's meant to be So it all comes down to our last chance qualifier Roger I did not expect too much racing against DMP because they create the world record So I just thought I would try my best I keep telling myself that so I don't get frustrated The time to beat is 10.23 seconds, and he has beat that consistently. He is a nine second racer. Has the tablet at hand, he's ready to go. This should be his best shot at coming home with the cup. What do you think, folks? Can he do it? Three, two, one. And he's on it. Roger on his way. Let's cheer him on, folks. He's still gunning for the best lap we saw from Sola earlier. 10.2 and change. That's the lap he's going to need to beat if he's going to host the Deep Racer Cup. Here through the flying S is now onto the front straightaway. Off track, though, there. He told us yesterday when he qualified, I need to be aggressive, and that's what he's doing right now. Here we go, his first official lap, 12.156. That's something you can build on. Only 35 seconds left. Pressure packed here with just 90 seconds to work with. Can he get through this opening sequence cleanly this time? It's not looking promising, but there is still time. 20 seconds left. Sola right now holds the fastest lap. Can our double world record holder hold on? Just 12 seconds to go. What do you think, folks? Seven seconds to go. Tim hustling back to the start finish line. One last flying lap for all the marbles for Roger. It's not going to happen. Time has expired. A valiant effort from Roger. 12.156, his best lap time. We only got 90 seconds, so it was just a snap and the time was gone. Let's welcome our trophy winners up to the podium, starting with third place, Roger Chu from Taiwan. I would describe this trip as a miracle. Yeah, I get to study more about this topic, write some papers about it, and publish, and hopefully I can graduate. <laughs> Second place goes to Fumiaki. Comes up just eight tenths of a second short. I look at the experience of Deep Racer as an opportunity to understand how you acquire technology and how you're going to improve it yourself. I'm very grateful to learn that through this Deep Racer experience. And how about it? Your champion for the year 2019. She's had the world record on the previous track. She's got the world record here. And now the Champions Cup as well. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for So La! It's very heavy with the、uh, cup, so I, I can't hold by myself. Too, too big. <laughs> Congratulations to each and every one of you and everyone else who has competed in what has been a tremendous season. Of deep racer competition. I've never won any other competition, so it's a very great experience. But this is just the beginning because even bigger things are planned for next year. Enter Deep Racer Evo, the next generation of Deep Racer. Dual cameras for stereo vision and LIDAR for object avoidance gives Deep Racer the ability to now race head to head on the same track. It's the next evolution of the Deep Racer League. 
and AWS will be bringing it to more summits around the world and giving you new ways to compete online. AWS had a vision of literally putting reinforcement learning in the hands of developers. We've traveled all over the globe and seen developers come from what is reinforcement learning to actually being able to play on the track in a matter of hours. You used to have a PhD, you used to need to know all about linear algebra, and now you just need to have the desire to come and have fun. This is what it's all about. AWS DeepRacer does not end at today's competition. Coming back in 2020 with new capabilities, new rules, returning champions and brand new faces we haven't seen before. So if you've been inspired to learn more about DeepRacer, please go to aws.training or just go to deepracerleague.com and you too can be part of the 2020 League.